so hello everyone today we will be solving this daily question of lead code that is check if two strings arrays are equivalent or not so it's a very basic and easy question we have given two arrays of word one and word two and basically we have to con con concatenate all the elements of both the arrays word one and word two and then with whatever the final string we, we we will receive we have to compare them if they are equal then we have to return true if they are not equal we have to return false right so the very basic or the very brute force approach is in the question itself right we will concatenate each element of the array and then whatever the final result of the both the arrays we will get string one and string two we will compare if the like we can simply say if the return string one double equals to string two and this will be made by concatenating both the elements of the array right but here we are going to see a better and solution then brute force that is two pointer approach right i hope uh, all of you know what is two pointers right you have already i'm guessing you have already uh, done two pointers questions as well in the past so let's say we have taken uh, two pointers that will these two pointers will be traversing through the elements only right by the elements i mean zero one i will traverse through zero one j will traverse through zero one here i will traverse to 0 1 j will traverse to 0 1 right i am not talking about here internal right now like a, a b but 0 but i will only traverse through whole a b part element right and to traverse through the internal elements also as well for example i want to fetch the a and then b and then particularly c so for that i am making another pointer that is p1 equals to 0 and int p2 equals to 0 right so this p1 and p2 will be traversing inside the element for example p1 will go through a b c d d e f g and similarly p2 will traverse through a b c d e f g right why we are traversing through inside the element because we have to compare the strings right for example if i say you have two strings a b c d e f and another string is b uh, a b c d uh, wait a second a b c d e g let's say now if I, I, I say ki Adi compare these two strings right what you will do what the basic approach you will do like you will compare the strings one by one like a equals to a b equals to b c equals to c d equals to d e equals to e f equals to z now as soon as you will see that f is f is not equals to z right so you will directly return false right for example let's say here uh, here uh, we have an another elements like let's say z h g h j and right similarly in below also but as soon as we got the unequal elements two unequal elements on the same index we will return the false right the same thing we are going to do here right so what we will do uh, we will traverse through each word one and word two array and compare its elements right now what we have to take care of we have to take care of the size of both the arrays and also the elements that we are traversing let's say like we will do a while i less than uh, what you have to take the i less than word one uh, and dot size right because i cannot be greater than size if i is greater than word one of size that then it will re return us the error right so we have init uh, in it initiated the basic loop that we are going to traverse right this is for the i and j now what we have to do is we have we want to compare the elements now right the basic approach if my word one at i right at p1 not equals to word two j p2 right then we have to return false why false because simply for example what just see what at the first point we are doing here we are simply comparing a this this one a and this one a right we are traversing through i equals to j i what is currently i what currently i is i is zero and then p1 is also zero so word one at zero then at zero this is that is a we are simply comparing these two elements if these are two are equal then uh, we can simply move ahead in the if these two are not then we can simply return false now the catch here is we have to increase the p1 and p2 as well right for example if we are checking here then we have to go to b also na if you are checking a word 2 also then we have to go to next element also right 
so we will in also increment the internal pointers here you have to see these two are external pointers and similarly for the jth element right and these two are internal pointers internal basically means that we are traversing through the internal elements of the array right got it so we have increased the pointers now what we have to take care of the cases like for example here like my p2 is initially 0 my now my p2 will become 1 here but at the first 0th element there is no uh, length is less than 1 length is equals to 1 right so my word 2 at 0 at 1 will not find anything so we have to handle that case as well uh, what what is the case that is if if uh, p1 less than if p1 double equals to word 1 at i dot size right then we have to increase the pointer right why we are increasing the external pointer because if my p1 reaches the maximum threshold of that particular element then we have to obviously increase the size of the my internal pointer and as well as external pointer now what we will do with the internal pointer we will init we will directly init the internal pointer to again zero why because we want to again traverse our uh, traverse our internal pointer through the zeroth element of the next element right and similarly we will do for the p2 as well p2 what to add dot size then we will increment j and then p2 at zero right this is the whole loop now our final condition is whenever we will go go outside we will check if i double equals to word one dot size now why we are doing this one i want to see the solution in the comments why we are doing this because let's say if word one length is smaller right this loop will break but let's say my whole now my word is all the strings is not matched right so that, that's why we are checking here that if i double equals to word one dot size and j equals double equals to word two dot size so that we are sh very sure that all my elements are traversed and all my elements are checked equally N not a single element is left right so that's why we are doing this thing return true else return false let's run this let's see i hope i have didn't make any mistake like i can see the mistake that is for at two at j right let's see i hope not another mistake then let's see yes so this is compiling and let's submit this let's see how much time does it take and yes this takes four millisecond wow this is good this is good right and basically i don't believe you know bleed code time summations because whenever you submit second time it will come with different time as well <laughs> so you never see like see it's now seven millisecond so also let's think of the time complexity as well of this particular solution right so tell me what will be the time complexity of this solution right so what we are doing is we are traversing through each element one by one right so it will simply be o of n right and what is o of n o of n will be final what o of n will be the final length of the string let's say here we have a b c d e f g a b c d e f g has how much length it is 7 so o n so n would, would be 7 here for example a b c n would be 3 here right so that will be the time complexity of this question so basically it will be linear only right it will be linear only so that's all for today this is the question good question let's say let's hope we get the easy december or the medium december but let's see we will try to make up the solutions okay bye thank you